needs no introduction. We have with us the one and only Mr. Bongbong Marcos. <laughs> hello, hello. So happy to be here. Thank you very much. No, I thank you for uh, taking the trouble. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for allowing us into your beautiful home. Do you have a favorite part here in your house? Uh, well, you know, having uh, grown up as a student, I got used to living in one room. <laughs> so I have my desk in my, in my bedroom. And it's, it, I, so that I basically spend most of my time when I'm in the house. Yourself. I was in there for 72 days. In your room? In the room. Oh. What were you doing inside the room? Driving myself crazy, basically. <laughs> well, when you're, when you're ill, you don't really um, mind the passage of time. So that, this, that, this, You're talking about the time when you got COVID. Yeah, right? when I got COVID. So if you're not feeling bad, you don't really worry about it. I knew I was better because I was, say, I was getting very bored and just think, when can I get out of here? When can I get out of here? Do you have a morning routine book? So well, yeah. Like, I, what time do you usually wake up? I'm usually up by seven. But after cleaning my teeth, I go straight to the computer and look <laughs> messages and answer my mail and see what's happening, what I missed from the night before. So ah, so hindi kayo nagbe breakfast, yeah. I fast. Is that the intermittent fasting? In the intermittent fasting. Oh. Yeah, it seems to work for me. Sometimes I forget that I fasted and haven't eaten, and I'll go and exercise. What's your exercise, bro? Uh, gym. Um, because my schedule is so crazy, I can't do it like before. So that's what I do now. You know, just to have to stay fit, especially after COVID. It's my father's influence. My father was, before the term was invented, he was a health freak. Mm -hmm. And he would exercise at least, at least an hour a day, sometimes twice a day. So you would see him exercise when you were he would make regularly? Me, he would bring us to the mm -hmm. gym. He said, come, when we were little. Since you talked about your father, when you were born, he was already in politics. Yes, yes. He became congressman in 47 mm -hmm. and then senator in 57. That's the time you were born? That's the year I was born, mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I think he was always in politics, at least in his mind. Uh, when I became governor of Ilocos Norte, I got to talk, I had, since I was spending all my time there, I got to talk to some of his uh, friends and the people who were around him when he was still still living in, in uh, Ilocos. And they said, uh, 16 years old pa lang yan, may kabinete na yan. <laughs> ah, really? Oh, talagang my, my father is one of those, uh, I, I suppose the most single-minded person I've ever known. If it had nothing to do with his work, he just wouldn't uh, spend time on it. Saan po kayo pinanganak? Sa San Juan. No, pinanganak ako doon. Mm -hmm. So, I, we lived in our house, which is still there. Uh, until 1965, when he won the presidency and we moved to the palace. He won his presidency in 1965. You were seven years yeah, old. Yeah, because I remember my first birthday in the palace was my eighth birthday. Oh, yeah. What was that like? Oh, it's amazing because um, my dad brought me to school. Mm. He woke me up. He came into my room.